In this video, I'm going to show you how to aggregate one second candles into five seconds and higher time frame candles. I already made a similar video a few months ago on how to combine one minute candles into higher time frame candles. This video is going to be a continuation of that one. So I suggest you to watch it first. All right. So first we need to download some candles to come to do the aggregation. So we're going to use this package that we used in the last video to download the candles. Uh, the good thing is Binance already provides one second candles. So we're going to download one day. Let's do the math. Each day contains 24 hours and each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds. So that's 86,400 candles every day. So let's download from 1st Jan 2025 till 2nd Jan 2025. All right. And I'm also going to change the time zone, sorry, local string format from ENGB to ENUS. And then I need to include the time frame uh, window for one second candles because we're going to use this to calculate the number of requests. So after that, let's run it. So we have 87 calls. It will take around a minute to complete. Yeah, that's that's finished. So here is the data. I'm going to replace all the double quotes. Again, I already did all these steps in the last video, so I'm not explaining again. So let's replace all of those and delete the header. And let's just copy paste these values. On the left hand side, I have the project that we used uh, to plot candles. So just save that and one of the changes that I did is the latest production version of the lightweight charting library. It doesn't have a few functions. So I grade it out, I commented it out and I'm using a slightly older version because I don't want to tinker with the plotting aspect of the code. So let's do that and let's open the server. So we're able to plot the candles, but these are once again candles. If you, if you look at the bottom, right? So 330, 330, Five, yeah, some, something is wrong. So it's by default it's aggregating on the five minute time frame. So let's make some changes to make it work for one second candle. So first, I'm going to set the select option to one second. Okay. Keep in mind we only updated the data. We did not change anything else. So first, I'm updating one second select option, and then in the index.js file, we'll also add the time frame window for one second. One second only has one second, right? So the value is going to be one. And we'll we'll add the other values later. Because I'm using cursor, it's lit, it's showing me to auto-complete the rest of the values. For now, I'm just going to ignore and let's just save. And I'm also going to set the default target time frame to one second. Okay, let's save that and let's refresh. There you go. So first, if I if I zoom in, you can see here it's 650, 57. If I go to the next bar, it's 58. So these are one second candles, okay? So now what we'll do is, which will add instead of five minutes, we will add five seconds, 10 seconds on the rest and the rest of the time frames to aggregate, okay? So here, I'm going to duplicate these from five, we're going to add five seconds, 10 seconds, and again, because I'm using cursor, it's automatically recommending the value. So I'll just hit tab to auto complete. There you go, so now I got, I'll just, one second, five second, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and I'm going to delete all the one minute and higher time frame items here. That's it. So we have one second and above. Okay. And I'll do the same thing over here. Five seconds. Yeah, that's it. Let's hit save. Go back to the chart. Now, if I toggle from one second to 10 seconds, you can see that it automatically aggregates. Again, you can verify that with the timestamp, right? If you on the X axis, you can see the X axis projection, it says uh, 10 second. 20, 30, and so on and so forth. If I change this to 30 seconds, yeah, they become more tense. Uh, you can see six o'clock, six, six, zero, zero, and 30 second mark, and then seven, yeah, it, it works fine. It's as simple as that. You just need to add the time frames, and it should work without any major changes to the code. 